Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3, the mod that is. And we're finally here, I postponed it quite a bit because I had the promise there was another interesting mod that was trying to be revamped. However, I haven't heard for them in quite a while, and since I noticed that the views are dropping on the Scramble for the Far East mod, I decided, you know what, I can't wait, I mean, I've already waited like... Uh, more than a month, so it's probably time to start the Napoleon Total War 3 campaign and j just forget about uh, whatever they were trying to do. With that said, we're going to start uh, a campaign as the Russians, as it was voted on. So we've got Russia here, we're going to fight France, um, all the regions I need to hold are visible here. And here's the difficulty, enable drop in battle, although I think it's similar with um, how the drop ins have gone in uh, in Scramble for the Far East. I don't think it's very likely that we'll have any here, but just in case. Uh, here's the battle limit and so on. Historical outcome. With that, let's just jump into it, shall we? Right. Time to get going, and we need to support our allies. We need to send all our troops up to support Kutusov. Kutusov has 2,000 men, currently in uh, Upper Hungary, I believe. Yes, this is part of Hungary. So we need to move to try and protect Vienna. Bavaria is going to fall without question, but I need to get all my troops here. I'm gonna try to, as much as possible, avoid war with Prussia, but if war comes with uh, the um, Ottomans, that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that. Here we got another army, we need to send that down, so we've got three generals. I do have a lot of extra troops here and there. Um, looks like we're gonna have to hold some troops here, but I don't want to hold... Oh, no, I don't actually need to hold any troops there. So march down. What I can do is I could re recruit some uh, really cheap uh, recruit musketeers or the Oblige Jenny to hold that area down. I want to send as much troops forward as possible. We can send troops from here as well. And then Odessa, f frontiers with the Ottomans. Uh, we might hold troops. Definitely need my spy up here so I can see where Napoleon is coming. And then the Moscow garrison will march that forward to the front as well. Then there's a lot of stuff that needs modernizing in Russia. Starting with the roads, we have no roads whatsoever to start off with. So we, I need roads in all these areas. It might be, I've thought about, you know, so having certain areas intentionally have bad roads to stop an invading enemy. But the thing is, I kind of feel that um, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to let it go that far. Also, our navy needs to be moved forward. It needs to hold the trade ports rather than being all the way back there. Also, I need to send out my trade fleet. First off, expand it a little. So we have all the four ships we can, and then maybe adding another ship for protection. And then we need to see if we can try to get the best resource, which I think we safely can get, which is the spices from Malta. Um, obviously the best one would be to get uh, ivory, but that's way too close to enemy Spain. So, and uh, I don't think we're going to take on Spain in a naval conflict. Then also, there's a lot of areas which are built for recruiting troops, but this one area stuff uh, I'm actually going to make into administration offices instead, I think. Or, you know what, I think, so 3 plus bonus to tax in region, while this one, wait, while this one gives 4 to 8, I don't know which is best actually, 
because they're seemingly quite similar. 6%, well this one gives 8% tax bonus read. Maybe it's better to have the barracks then. I was under the impression that I would need to switch this. It might be better to have the barracks then, because they add 8 bonus. 8% bonus. While these add only... By increments of 3, while these adds in increments of 4. Plus it seems to be doing higher repression. Oh no, the happiness is better with this. The happiness is a lot better with this than this, because this just gives 2 in repression, this gives twice. But the barracks actually gives more money. So I think we'll go for money, won't we? So we'll go ahead and upgrade those. Um, where areas that are unhappy to start with might actually need to get an upgrade on these buildings. Certain areas like these out here. And this area. Also, upgrading ports would be great, and now I'm out of money. And with that, we should start looking to trade. Start with Ottomans. I'm gonna try to trade with as many people as possible. Sicily? Yes. Actually, I should go for the big nations first, but I think I have plenty of room to more or less get everyone. Did we have the con- oh yeah, he took all my money there. I uh, should have <laughs> play, <laughs> paid more attention there. Now I don't have any money to give away, so I don't think anyone else is going to ask for it. Okay, they Mecklenburg finds it, finds it unacceptable. And Portugal. So now I have loads of trade. This should have... Oh, we're still losing money. We'll go bankrupt if I don't change that. We'll up the tax on the nobility just a little bit, just so I get into the black. And then what I want to do is alliance with Prussia. And they agree, and that is one of the starting quests you get. So now I gained a thousand. You know what? Now I want to rescind something, actually all these buildings that I built in these areas. Or areas really... Russia has a load of these logging camps. And upgrading the logging camps reduces the cost of building stuff in the region by a lot. So I definitely want to get quite a lot of these, or at least upgrade the really bad camps. So three really bad camps there, this one's okay. But we should probably get that to the next level as well. So now we're allied with the Prussians. We've got modernizing of Russia going on. Making very little bank though. Happiness is going down because we're taxing. Um, right. There's not much more I can do. Let's go ahead and end turn. And see what uh, our opponents come up with. Oh yeah. Tr uh, technology. Let's go with the cash first. Oh yeah, I should look at, into my agents. We have one guy. Think about the Russians and the technology. They've put it so far out that it's... I guess that almost Siberia? Like, they to hamper Russian technology, they've put the, the only college we have as far away. Like, they've even made like an... Like, it extends over here. No roads, no nothing. Like, all the way out here. Like, they didn't put the logging camp that far out. But here's the college. So far out. If I could, if I could, it would be nice to maybe have another one. But I guess we'll be backwards Russia, as always. Now, we'll end turn. And here we're done with the end turn. The... French have moved in, they've taken Bavaria, and they've created the Confederation of the Rhine. Kutusov should continue forward, and so should all my armies. We have a little bit more cash, which I'm going to spend on building this camp. Um, 
Now, I want to protect my ports here, but we are allied with Sweden and we're allied with the Prussians. And it's doubtful that the uh, Danish will attack us, so to make... As we're... Ooh, the, up the upkeep costs for the ships are really high. So I want to put them to use, so we're going to use them to raid trade. And we're going to use them to raid the trade, which Denmark is conducting with the French. So we get a little bit of money back on those ships. Because that's really expensive. Troops will continue forward according to uh, our plan to move forward. Which is rather slow, but we'll, we're getting there. There's no road through the uh, mountains there in the Hungarian region. But all troops should be marching that way. Same with the Moscow garrison where we even have the big unicorn cannon as it's called in uh, in vanilla. Right, looks fine. There was one nation that didn't want to trade with me. Now the possibility to trade with them is no longer possible. And if we look at who's happy with me, we can see that everyone's... Sweden's not that happy with me, but we are allies with Sweden. Um, no surprise, maybe. And our enemies, it's France and the Northern Italian Kingdom. A few other areas there. Right. Most likely the first battle is going to be Catuso finding some enemies up front in sort of the border regions here with Bavaria trying to make sure that Vienna does not fall. Uh, hopefully the Austrians haven't overextended themselves this time around um, due to some mishap in uh, collaboration with, the, with uh, setting the dates on the calendar and so on. Let's go ahead and end turn and see if we can't come to a battle. We have another agent recruited. He's going to have to walk all the way out here. God awful. And we have a mission issued. Settling old scores, Finland. Capture city Orbo. We are at war with France. There is, however, a lot of spare time separating... Time and space separating our nations. There's an old score we must settle to the north, Finland. Long, rightfully ours, since this, and since Sweden is weak, desolate, and barren, a match, uh, it's not even a match for the smallest of our army. I let's say, take it. It's rightfully ours. We get 2,000 gold for that. Which is pretty good, considering I'm only making 450 a turn. However, since Sweden is also allied with the rest of the coalition, upsetting the coalition at this moment is not an ideal opportunity. Also, I believe the Finland in the long run, I mean, just as he said, Sweden is barren. What the crap do you think Finland is? They do have the merchant house and they do have another logging camp over there, but I doubt we should try and upset the... Uh, the, the main alliance just to take control of Finland. That seems um, a bit risky. So we have troops now actually crossing into uh, Hungarian territory and with the roads now being uh, actually traversable or there are actually roads on the map should be able to advance a little bit more rapidly. It feels like I've forgotten an army. Which is Katusa, of course. Katusa will march briskly all the way to the front, and there's no enemies to be seen. Maybe I should wait for my spy to turn up. He's he's right here. It it will, however, take him. Let's see, one, two, three, four turns until he gets here. Uh, so. I mean, it would be very risky to send my best commander and a really good army straight into unknown territory. We don't know how, what the French have here. So maybe on, on on this point forward, we'll be a little bit more cautious walking into that territory. I do have Hussars, which I could use to scout for uh, in front of that. And I should now be able to attack some of the trade 
of my enemies. We're gonna attack there. So I might be able to get a little bit more money per turn. Okay, so how much am I? I am 40! I'm able to raid 40 from trade. We definitely need to get those trade ships going. Should be one turn away and then I can sail the entire fleet down to get Spice. Hopefully no one else has taken up this post because uh, I don't think we'll make much from the coffee or the fur which you get out here if we look at trade. Coffee 17, fur 22. Fur is better than coffee then. Right, let's go ahead and end turn and see if we can't come to battle this time around. It's now time to move into Bavaria and figure out what's going on. We'll march up to the border and then I'll detach my hussars to scout ahead of me. There's a small French force situated within town. Beyond that, I cannot see. We could definitely take it and re-establish Bavaria or just maybe even loot it. We're gonna march into enemy territory and see if the the little garrison takes the bait. There could definitely be more French in the region. We gotta keep an eye on just what happens on the map. Like certain areas might fall, like this might very well fall to the French. This this usually falls to the Austrians. They have burned this place, so we'll keep an eye out. And there we have it. We have come to battle. The French have sent more with a force. It's entirely comprised of Bavarian troops, more or less. The only unit that isn't Bavarian is the cavalry and, of course, the general. Um, with that said, let's go draw directly into battle. They outnumber us by 91 men, so it's a very even fight. So, for this first battle of Napoleon Total War III Russia campaign, Let's see what Kutuzov have and if he's able to bring down the French in Bavaria. And here we've got our battlefield. It's in between... It's kind of going to take place on this lower plane when you got hills going through. I've got pretty nice position for my artillery being able to fire above my troops onto the enemy. The enemy has deployed their cannon behind a forest here. So I'm not entirely sure if they're going to wheel around. They're not going to get a good position to fire at us from over here, even though it would be a good hill if it weren't for all the trees. Um, not all of their units are seen. We know that they have plenty more line infantry uh, there in the center. So for my position, we've got light cavalry, the hussars, ready to move on their cannons. I've got my main line made up of musketeers, veteran musketeers, and a unit of grenadiers. Um, so that'll be, they're backed up by the uh, Leibgevardi, or the Pavlovsky um, grenadiers, as you can see here. Ready to march up, fill any gap that might occur. Hidden on this side, I've got all my light infantry, so the 17th Jaegers and generic Jaeger unit. They're backed up by the Leibgevardi cavalry. Yeah, Leibgevardi Nakonje bulk unit. Ready to charge down, trample down any enemies. Well, I've put it on this side because the enemy has put their Bavarian Chevalier on this side. So they're a little bit more heavy cavalry. Uh, not as ours though, as ours are Kraziers. And we've got the Bardis and Hussars on this side. So I've kind of matched uh, where the cavalry is. With that said, let's go ahead and start. So we'll be able to start bombarding with our cannon from the start. They are currently firing over here. You know what? We might take a shot through the forest. If I'm able to hit, I'll break down. Yes, we broke down one cannon and forced them to retreat immediately. Now we'll do switch target and fire on the Bavarian Grenadiers, which is their most veteran infantry unit. 
they're switching their cavalry over, moving the Jubaligiers over to... Oh, here comes more infantry units. Ah, look at that. They've got l another heavy cavalry unit on this side. Cannons rallying. More troops moving through. I'm confident in my position right here. I'm gonna tell these, though, to hold fire. Okay, so this side is little bit weak. I wonder if my Hussars will be able to hold in case he sends both his cavalry unit. Oh, he's sending his cavalry unit right now. Um, it's too late to back out now because we'll be confu we'll be set in confusion. We'll counter charge and hope for the best. We do outnumber them. Oh, they were set to uh, flank attack us over here. Their hussars are riding straight into our gunfire. And we were able to kind of sight atta attack through the side on this chevalier. And it's kind of all over the place. Not sure who's going to come out on top on that battle. They are sending in infantry to support. Um... The Hussars are coming very close over here. I'm gonna form square. These guys are coming really close to my Jaegers. Oh, we're, we're actually winning there. The morale of the enemy is faltering. Heavy gunfire is going through. There's more cavalry charging in. I think it's time to spring the trap. The light infantry is coming out of hiding, and the heavy cavalry will ride to flank. So, it was nice that I put the grenadiers on this side, because they're now heavily engaged with enemy cavalry. French units of Bardish and infantry is firing into the back of their own chevalier, breaking their morale. So I'm pretty sure my cavalry will win that fight. I wish I could switch to canister here. Line infantry is holding for now, but um, might you very well need to uh, change that. The heavy cavalry is ready to set up and it's going to sweep away these two units. The Jaegers are inflicting hopefully quite massive casualties. This unit has got hit and now my cannon crew got hit by a little bit of cavalry. I'm going to rally the troops under Kutusov, and now the heavy cavalry is going in. As the heavy cavalry is going in, I'm going to reposition the light infantry to take a closer position to the actual fighting. The heavy cavalry is riding in. The already weak Bavarians are running. We're going to go into the next line. The main line is holding. The Bavarians charge is broken. They're charging the flank over here. My cavalry is now faltering under the heavy pressure. I'm gonna pull them out. As I pull them out, the French actually break. The line broke. Let's make it, make it into line again. And now I want my heavy cavalry to ride everything down. Hold fire as I don't want to destroy my own heavy cavalry. And as we now move into line, we need to switch the battle lines and march onwards towards this area. I'm going to tell the cannons to hold fire. Let's have the guard march in column across here, set up and march across the hill to get these. My cavalry has disengaged. They've lost quite a lot of manpower. They're very tired. We're going to retire them and put them quite far away for now. My heavy cavalry is chasing after the enemy, and I'll allow them to continue to do that. Time to tell the cannons to open fire. I think they've got a good angle here onto the Bavarian Reserve Line Infantry as the uh, guards are marching past here. Better angle this unit and then bring these guys more to the front. As the light infantry is coming up. We'll keep the enemy running. 
by having our uh, guard cavalry chase after them. Do I dare fire a canister above my men? I might. I might just do that. Let's go ahead and have the uh, guards move into line and prepare to uh, fire on the enemy. If they, the, if these guys go into bayonet attack, I'll hold the, the canister shot. A lot of canister going that way. Nice shots onto the enemy. Cavalry continuously riding these guys down. We have Westphalian infantry rallying. We're winded. Let's set up here and regroup a bit. They're tired, but I kind of need to push them back into battle over here. Keep up the firing. I think with the canister, this unit is definitely going to break, which it is. And now we just need to push the advantage on this single unit. I'm going to tell the cannons to hold fire at this point. I don't... You know what? Round shot might work. Katusa will ride up here to take a look at the situation. Heavy cavalry. They're active and encouraged. Move into position there and we might be able to sweep away the Westphalians. My Asars are moving forward, although very tired at this point. Okay, time for you to hold and return fire. I'm so done with these guys now, though. Let's have the Grenadiers advance. Why aren't you guys firing? Oh, because I told you not to fire. That could have made a big difference. Light infantry firing up the flag. I forgot to tell these guys to fire. Why did no one tell me? Miscommunication. Right now my guard is getting hit very heavily by the enemy. Very nasty. Hold fire as my grenadiers will now charge. The hussars will charge in as these guys move to flank. Or prepare to turn their flank against them. My grenadiers will charge in. Taking heavy casualties as we move into close to range. And yes, reminder there to tell the cannons to hold fire. Kutusov might definitely be needed here to support. My heavy cavalry riding straight into the enemy charge. The enemy is broken over here. And we are victorious, and the enemy was broken over here as well. My grenadiers sent them away. Let's keep up the march forward. Let's continue the heavy cavalry charge into those cannons. And at this point, the only unit that remains... Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. ...is the enemy general. He's the only one to remain, except the... Well, the cannons are still there, technically. Starting to fire across here. Why haven't you... It's quite easy to just ride the cannons down. Should be able to break them pretty easily. And there they go. I'm not in the habit of murdering generals, so if he would leave the field, I would be okay with that. But he seems to be rather reluctant. A lot of the light infantry... Oh, those guys are back. The reserve line infantry. I think, though, if the general is sent away, which he might very well be any second now. Okay, if he wants to still be here on the field, I'm going to go ahead and attack him. 
Let's move then to face this last unit. Having the musketeers move to this side. Make sure that everyone's on fire at will there. Great. They're tired. But I'm pretty sure it's determined charged by my um, my guard hussars would break the barbarians. Pushing down a lot of fire, they're turning to face the hussars now. As that's happening, I'm ordering the advance of the infantry to meet them. I told my Krasiers to go after the enemy general. There we go, the infantry is now broken. And they won't be coming back. We have killed their general, sir. Now they oh. must break. Well, he, he decided to stay on the field, so I gave him plenty of opportunity to run. But he stood on the field, then he'll die on the field with his Bavarian troops. And there we have it. The first battle is concluded. Heavy casualties on our side. Um, my plan didn't really work that well because most of the enemy troops concentrated a lot on this side and I didn't have enough troops to respond. I was kind of lucky that the enemy started shooting their own cavalry in the back. Um, but yeah, it's still though the heavy cavalry charge breaking through and the line, the main line held a lot thanks to I think uh, Kutusov being close enough to support them, but this was a very bloody battle and I'm not entirely sure I want to pursue and attack Bavaria, the Bavarian capital after this. But here we go, here's the first battle and it was victorious with the glorious commander Kutusov. Here we have the result of the battle as it was we deployed exceptionally equal forces, 2,000 men roughly on both sides. However, the French uh, and the Bavarian allies lost 1,800 men, leaving only 273, while we're losing 760, leaving 1,200 men. Um, chevrons being gained by the cavalry, none for the infantry though. Highest kills goes for the cavalry, no surprise there. Followed by the Grenadiers, the Veteran Muskets, the Pavlovsky Guard, and so on. Uh, highest losses goes to the Musketeers with 169, but I think in percentage, I know that the Pavlovsky Guard lost quite a lot there. Um, or at least for their rank, I was unhappy with losing that many Grenadiers. But uh, the enemy was defeated, and that's all that matters right now. The Battle of Roari's Mine in October of 1815 is a victory by the Russians over the Bavarians. However, I think we're gonna wait for the reinforcements of, I think it's Buxhoven is coming in? Yes, Fyodor Fyodorovich Buxhoven is moving in with his cavalry and his army, so I think we're gonna wait for his reinforcements rather than to uh, go in and attack the Bavarians further. We st still lost quite a lot, as almost 50% of the force, in fact, was almost lost. We're gonna move directly to the su uh, supply warehouse in Linz and set up there, because also we'll be protected by these bridges unless the French come through here, of course. Um, but we'll get replenishment and we'll ba wait for Buxholden to turn up. And then we also have Benningsen moving in. And his troops. I have been able to do some adjustments here. I reduced the tax for the nobility just because I noted that I was actually lo losing um, wealth in a lot of regions because of the high tax. I'm still losing wealth in some regions, or growth, um, so we're not gaining as much. 
uh, as much money anymore, so I was able, I was forced to reduce some of the troops. What I think I'm gonna do is I'll have to definitely reduce this fleet. These two ships cost 400 and uh, well, it's 400, 744, and that's way too expensive, and I don't see any use of them. What I think we're gonna do is we're gonna just blaze through here, capture ships, sell them, fight our way through enemy uh, fleets and so on, trying to actually rendezvous with my trade fleet down in the south. Very unlikely that I'll we'll get there, but at least I'll uh, don't have to pay upkeep for the fleet as it's going to sink. Spy is on his way. Everything seems to be going well right now, but I definitely have to work a lot more on the economy because right now I'm making no money. We are not able to recruit any reinforcements to send uh, down here. It's just the all recruited, already recruited forces which are marching to the aid. With that said, this was the first video in this series. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I hope to see you for the next one. Bye!